I've been pursuing some long-held goals, learning to play the piano, overcoming my fear of water by taking swimming lessons, and learning my new cake decorating skills are all things I've always wanted to do. My mum used to say, "Try and learn whatever you want to do." It's become my mantra in life. When I was a little girl, I didn't live with my parents, and whenever my mum visited my grandparents' house to see us. I often had nightmares when she left that she would have an accident and die. Actually, losing my mum has been my worst nightmare come true. But somehow, it's also given me a different perspective on life. My parents were born before Korea regained independence from Japan, and we lived in the rural countryside down south. Far from the capital city, you can imagine how tough their lives were when they were young parents. It was survival tough. My mom made a bold decision to move to the city, which was really unusual back in those days. Especially since my dad was the only child for my grandparents, as you can imagine, she faced a lot of backlash. But she was a true entrepreneur and pioneer. She did whatever it took to provide for us. Give us a chance at education and feed us. She worked so hard all her life, but she never took the chance to enjoy her own life. And that always made me sad. <laughs> While I was in Korea, looking after my mom. And spending quality time with my dad, which I'd never had before, I decided to do things differently, to just go for it and have a few regrets in life. As it's International Women's Day, I thought about my mom and wanted to share with you how my mom has inspired me. I also want to cheer on all the women who are carving out their own lives and. Hope that they get to enjoy life along the way.